In the northeast corner of North Carolina, autumn approaches on a chilling wind as the area awaits the arrival of thousands of migrating birds. As they have for centuries, waterfowl, geese, and other birds fly south to spend fall and winter in this special place. Fall is a magical time at Pocosin Lakes National Wildlife Refuge. The air is crisp, the leaves display brilliant colors, and it's hard not to notice the numerous new visitors on the wing. Some birds will stay through the winter, while others stop only to rest and feed before continuing their journey southward. In 1990, the Conservation Fund, together with the Richard King Mellon Foundation, donated land to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to create Pocosin Lakes National Wildlife Refuge. The refuge harbors a wide variety of wildlife and unique natural resources. Southeastern shrub bog habitat, called Pocosin, dominates the refuge's 113,000 acres. Pocosin Lakes, Alligator River, Roanoke River, Matamesquite, Pea Island, and other refuges in North Carolina and Virginia help preserve this fragile ecosystem, a system of forests, rivers, lakes, freshwater wetlands, and saltwater areas, ever-changing with the seasons and always welcoming visiting wildlife. Birds are not the only wildlife you'll find here. Look carefully and you might see deer, a rabbit, or a fox. If you're lucky, you may spot a black bear moving through the cane breaks or foraging in old cornfields during early morning or late evening. Pocosin Lakes provide sanctuary for several endangered plants and animals. Over 30 colonies of the endangered red cockaded woodpecker are found on the refuge and surrounding lands. Making their homes in mature live pine trees, these woodpeckers have a chance to flourish in undeveloped forest stands. One of the most endangered animals in the world, the red wolf, is also found here. Once reduced to 14 captive animals, this shy predator has been reintroduced in the area and is beginning to reclaim native ground. About 80 wolves range freely on area refuges, military bases, and private lands. A large number of wolves have made Pocosin Lakes National Wildlife Refuge their home. Like the red wolf, stands of Atlantic white cedar that once graced large tracts throughout eastern North Carolina are in danger of disappearing forever. A reforestation project at the refuge is helping to protect this cedar from extinction. Fence enclosures have been installed at various sites throughout the refuge. These enclosures protect young trees from deer and rabbits, which favor the tender shoots of the tree. Pocosin Lakes is characterized by the unique interactions of peat soil, water, and fire. The majority of the soil on the refuge contains organic peat, which is normally waterlogged. In the past, natural water flows kept the soil wet. Development and human encroachment have altered the region's water cycles. Today, these soils are unnaturally dry, making the area vulnerable to wildfire. Also, the suppression of natural fire over the years has allowed wood, straw, and dry grass to build up as fuel, adding to the fire danger. To counter the threat of wildfires, refuge staff use controlled burning as a management tool. The fires reduce the amount of fuel or brushy, undesirable plants on the forest floor. The burns also encourage new growth, such as grasses and sedges, which are important food sources for migratory waterfowl and other wildlife. To restore the natural sheet flow of water to the area, refuge staff maintain water control structures at strategic points along the refuge's canals. The water control structures allow managers to mimic the region's natural water flows and sustain a healthier Pocosin ecosystem. Other management techniques are used to enhance the area for wildlife, such as cooperative farming. Local farmers are given the opportunity to cultivate designated tracts of refuge lands. When harvesting the fields, the farmers leave a portion of the crop for songbirds, waterfowl, and other wildlife. Everyone wins. The farmers gain access to productive lands, and the wildlife have an increased food supply. 
Refuge staff also conduct research and monitor wildlife populations. Biologists gather vital information by rocket netting and banding tundra swans along the shores of Pungo Lake. They record information about the natural history of the swan population, their migration patterns, and the birds' wintering and breeding grounds. The information is added to a national database and utilized to more effectively manage these majestic creatures. Winter eventually gives way to the music of spring peepers and songbirds. With their finest voices, they greet the spring, a time of renewal at Pocosin Lakes. Waterfowl wing their way to northern breeding grounds. Migratory songbirds arrive, seeking food, water, and nesting sites. Their vivid breeding colors paint the trees with every shade of the rainbow. During your visit, be sure to enjoy a stroll on the Scuppernong River Interpretive Boardwalk, located just behind the visitor center. The boardwalk also connects to historic downtown Columbia. Enjoy the dazzling display of wildflowers and dogwoods along the trail. A comprehensive list of the plants and animals you may see on the refuge is available at the visitor center. If you prefer to enjoy the sights from your vehicle, we invite you to drive the Charles Corralt Trail, a mapped travelogue of refuges along this southeastern corridor. An audio tape and pamphlet guides your visit to the sites North Carolina native Charles Corralt cherished during his time on the road. Once again, fall returns to Pocosin Lakes and the natural cycle begins anew. Folks discard their rods and reels and favorite fishing spots to take advantage of the hunting season. Long a tradition in this region, hunting is very popular. The abundance of game entices over 7,000 hunters to the refuge woods each year. Pocosin Lakes and other national wildlife refuges are closely linked to the land and to the people around them. The nonprofit partnership for the sounds promotes ecotourism and operates environmental education centers in several communities throughout the region. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service works jointly with the partnership for the sounds to share valuable information with residents and area visitors. This cooperative arrangement increases the effectiveness of both groups and enhances conservation awareness throughout the region. The Fish and Wildlife Service manages over 500 national wildlife refuges throughout the United States. The service works with others to conserve, protect, and enhance fish, wildlife, plants, and their habitats for the continuing benefit of the American people. The Fish and Wildlife Service welcomes volunteers. We have people who assist in biological activities, visitor services, education programs, and maintenance projects. To find out more about our volunteer program or any other aspect of the refuge, please stop by the Visitor Center Information Desk or speak with a staff member. Thank you for visiting Pocosin Lakes National Wildlife Refuge. We hope you enjoy discovering the unique Pocosin habitat and the diverse wildlife found here. National Wildlife Refuges are special places where wildlife and people naturally come together. <laughs>